Hello, in this video we are going to simplify this. We have 1 divided by 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9. So how can we simplify this to the lowest form? So what we are going to do will be to add the use of this identity. If you have a to the power of n divided by n, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. So we can apply this same identity here. That means we are going to have the ninth root of 1 divided by 9. And this is to the power of 1. And this will definitely give us the ninth root of 1 divided by 9. Because when this when it is raised to the power of 1, you are going to have the same thing as 1 over 9. So right now, we apply this other identity. If you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So we apply the same thing right here. That means we are going to have the ninth root of 1 divided by, we have the ninth root of 9. And this will give us the ninth root of 1 is 1 divided by, we have the ninth root of 9. So, from here, we can apply this identity. If you have 1 divided by the n root of a, this will give you 1 divided by the n root of a times the n root of a to the power of n minus 1 divided by the n root of a to the power of n minus 1. So, in this case, we are going to have our n equals 9. So, because we are dealing with 9, and a equals 9. So, let's apply this identity right here. So, that means we are simply going to have 1 divided by the ninth root of 9 equals, we are making use of this now, 1 divided by the ninth root of 9 times the ninth root of 9 to the power of 9 minus 1 divided by the ninth root of 9 to the power of 9 minus 1. So from here, we are going to have 1 times this, that will give us the same thing, that is 9th root of 9 to the power of 9 minus 1, that is 8. Divided by here, we have the 9th root of 9, then we have times this, we have the 9th root of 9 to the power of 9 minus 1, we have 8. Now, if you have a root of n times a root of m, this equals the a root of n times m. So that is exactly what we are going to apply here, because this is 9 root of 9 times 9 root of 9 power 8. So we are simply going to have the 9th root of 9 power 8 divided by this will be the ninth root of 9 times 9 power 8. Now, remember, if you have a power n times a power m, this equals a power n plus m. So this is raised to the power of 1. We have this and this at the same basis, so we are going to add the exponents. So what we are going to have will be the ninth root of 9 power 8 divided by the ninth root of 9 power 1 plus 8. So from here, we have the ninth root of 9 power 8 divided by the ninth root of 9 power 1 plus 8 is 9. So, 
the next thing we are going to do will be to make use of this. Considering this identity, n root of a equals a power 1 over n. Considering this identity, we can do the same thing here and here. So what we are going to have will be 9 power 8 raised to the power of 1 over 9. We are eliminating the 9 root. We are changing to this form using this identity divided by 9 power 9. This is raised to the power of 1 divided by 9. So at this point, we consider this index law again. a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So we can multiply this exponent. That means multiply this and we multiply this. So what we are going to have will be 9 power 8 times 1 over 9. That is 8 over 9. Divided by 9 power 9 times 1 over 9. That is 9 over 9. So this will give you, remember this cancels out. We have 9 power 8 over 9 divided by 9. So what do we do? Remember, 9 is equal to square, that is 3 power 2. We can simply have it as this. We have 3 to the power of 2, that is 9. Raised to the power of 8 over 9, divided by 3 to the power of 2, which is 9 again. So from here, by multiplying this exponent again, we have 3 to the power of 2 times 8, that is 16 divided by 9, divided by 3 to the power of 2. So right now, what we are going to do will be to divide each of this. The numerator, we can divide it by 3, and we divide the numerator denominator by 3. So what we are going to do is this, we divide it by 3, and we divide this by 3. So what we are going to have will be 3 power 16 divided by 9. Divided by 3. If you divide it by 3, you are going to have times 1 over 3. Then, you have a divided by 3 to the power of 2. If you divide it by 3, it will be times 1 over 3. So, what this will give you is, remember, if you have 1 divided by a, this is just like writing a power negative 1. So this is like having 3 power 16 divided by 9. Then you have times 3 power negative 1 divided by 3 to the power of 2 times 3 power negative 1. So from here, you consider this index law again. Remember, if you have a power n, then times a power n equals a power n times n. Don't forget it. So we apply it here. That means we are simply going to have 3 power 16 divided by 9 plus, if you add it to this negative 1, it will change to minus 1. Have you seen it? So divided by we have 3 to the power of 2 minus 1. So this will give us 3 to the power of, we need to find the value of 1 over 16. 16 divided by 9 minus 1. So 16 divided by 9 minus 1. Let's do it out somewhere here. Of 16 divided by 9 minus 1 over 1. LCM here is 9. 9 divided by 9, 1. 1 times 16. 16 minus 9 divided 1, 9, 9 times 1, you have 9. So this will simply give you 16 minus 9, that is 7 divided by 9. So you have 7 divided by 9. So this will give you 3 power 7 divided by 9. Then you have divided by this is 3 to the power of 2 minus 1, that is 1. So from here, on, we are simply going to have. 3 to the power of 7 divided by 9 divided by 3. Now, 
what you can do again is you can factor out this. You can simply have it as 3 to the power of 7 times 1 over 9. Because if you multiply 7 times 1 over 9, you have 7 over 9. So this is divided by 3. Now from here, you can simply have it as 3 to the power of 7 raised to the power of 1 over 9. If you still multiply this out, you are going to have this. And here it is divided by 3. So from here, you need to find the value of 3 power 7. 3 power 7 is 2187 times 3 times 3 times 3 into 7 places. So you have 2187 raised to the power of 1 over 9 divided by 3. So this becomes the answer. So you have 1 divided by 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 equals you have 2 1 is 7 to the power of 1 divided by 9 then everything is divided by 3. So this is it. I think it's better this way compared to this. Or you can also have it as the ninth root of 2, 1, itself. And this is divided by 3. This is also very correct. So this becomes our answer after doing series of addition and subtraction. So here is it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. I believe you enjoyed all the tricks. This is just playing with addition, subtraction, and some index logs. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye.